Hi, I'm Matthew Cassander. I'm the studio director at Gunfire Games. So Matthew, what is Kronos? Kronos is an RPG game. It's, uh, the third, it's a VR game in thir with uh, third-person camera view. Uh, it's really an action-adventure game. It's kind of a cross between uh, Dark Souls uh, and Resident Evil. Um, it's about a story about a hero that's been sent in to kill a dragon at, at its base. So. so what are some of the challenges when taking a third-person adventure game and making it VR compatible? Uh, I think the biggest thing was camera. Like, it's a fixed camera system, so your head is the camera. We don't move the camera around like a traditional third-person game. So you're used to moving the right stick to rotate the camera around the player. We can't do things like that because that's very uncomfortable in VR. So the camera is fixed in the room, and your, your head is the, the camera basically looking around in the environment. So getting used to that challenge in a system where we can go from room to room, jump between places, and, and sh uh, have that be seamless, uh, that was really the biggest challenge, beyond the technical challenges of uh, running at 90 frames, 10, 1080p. You talk about Gunfire Games and what other stuff you guys have done. Uh, we've actually worked on a couple of VR titles. This is our third VR title. We did two uh, games for the game for the Gear VR uh, called Hero Bound. Um, we've also worked on uh, Darksiders, uh, the Definitive Edition. Uh, most of the team is uh, ex-Vigil employees, so we all worked on the Darksiders series, uh, Darksiders 1, Darksiders 2, including myself. So talk a little about, like, Kronos is going to be a launch shutter for the Oculus Rift. Are you excited? Yeah, we're super excited. Um, you know, we've been working on this for a little bit over a year. We've obviously worked with Oculus for almost two years now. Um, we're very excited about the launch of the, of the platform. Obviously excited that people are going to get to see the game, especially uh, the third-person camera stuff that we've been working on, because I think that's a little bit different uh, to some of the other VR experiences. Um, and also, you know, it's a 12-hour game, so we're excited to have people play and play for a long, extended amounts of time. 12 hours is a long time to spend in virtual reality, so what did you do to make them make sure the user had a very um, headache-free experience game? It's really the camera system, like not moving the camera around. Camera movement is the thing that, you know, some people can cope with that just fine. Uh, some people are less comfortable with that, so we've done an experience where the camera doesn't move at all, and we found that pretty much everybody has been comfortable. We haven't had anyone that's discomfort from that. It's more about, okay, I've got a headset on my head, how long can I go with that, um, you know. So I think that's been the key thing that we've been working on. And when does Kronos come out? Comes out in two weeks. On the, be on the Oculus Store.